Before we get moving, please be sure to fasten your seat belt, return your seat back and folding trays to their full upright position, and store your carry-on luggage in either an overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. If seated next to an emergency exit, please read carefully the instructions located by the exit. If you do not wish to perform the functions described in them in the event of an emergency, please inform a flight attendant so that they may reseat you. We request that all portable electronic devices, such as mobile phones or laptops, be either turned off or put in airplane mode at this time. This is because these devices may interfere with the aircraft's navigational and communication equipment. We will inform you when you may continue using these devices. We would like to remind you that smoking on board this aircraft is prohibited by law, as is tampering with, disabling, or destroying laboratory smoke detectors. If you have any questions about this flight today, don't hesitate to ask myself or another flight attendant. Have a great flight. What is going on YouTube? Welcome to Sim Aviator. Happy Tuesday to all of you guys. What is going on? Hope you guys had a great weekend. And here we are back after the nightmares of the of the Saturday. <laughs> I did not sleep well after that flight, but what is going on? Welcome everyone. Captain Blee is here. Pars Parsa is here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. DC Flies is here. Hey there is here. Bobby Edmonds is in the house. Oh my god, what am I seeing here? <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> Someone's slowing. Oh, it's DC Flies. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, he said he was American. It looks like a US Airways to me. That's interesting. Maybe that's the only liveries that I have. Who knows? Uh, good evening, Max Blue. What's going on, man? Good to see you here. Uh, with that, what what are you trying to do, buddy? <laughs> anyway, 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 I gotta bring up the checklist here in a moment. Uh, let me bring that up, and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, DC. Hey, Drew. <laughs> Welcome, man. Yeah, this guy is just probably just slewing around trying to adjust. Uh, what that is, but yeah, it's all good. Uh, we are good to go here. Let's go ahead and get our X on mix going, and we'll turn this music off here. And we're gonna jump straight into the cockpit here and uh, go to the overhead. Uh, battery master on, DC service on, uh, external power in use. I'm gonna go look at the frames. What frames is that? Oh, that frames seem to have improved. 50 FPS. Obviously, it's clear weather, like barely any clouds in X environment, but I will still take it. It looks looks really, really nice. All right, so uh, I'm gonna shut that up. All right. Uh, not bad, slow parking job. Let's check that out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty nice, man. Uh, we got a Southwest, I believe that's Bobby Edmonds. Uh, he just mentioned on the Discord as well. Uh, these are probably, I don't even know. So many CRJ. Uh, no, that's that's not the CRJ. That looks like a 727. Uh, uh, 727s? Oh crap, I'm so bad at the historic aircrafts. <laughs> Anyway, I have really good FPS too. All right, Aviation Master says loading in. All right, man, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do a little, little group flight. Anyone else wants to fly along, feel free to hop in. Uh, in the meantime, I'm saying if I can, uh, let me see. I just I gotta check the checklist here. So we're gonna go to air conditioning. I'm gonna go there. Recirculation fan on. Um, external lights that's important we're gonna go nav lights to on uh wing lights come on as well uh logo light not needed beacon strobes can stay off uh landing lights not needed and so are the taxi lights not needed all right that's good um hydraulics gotta put all of them to auto and on there we go um what else? Passenger signs. Uh, hearing a door. Dome lights. I'll we'll keep it dim. No smoking sign comes on. And seat belts are on as well. Emergency exit lights aren't. And we are good to go with that. Uh, obviously. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go turn on the anti skid armed. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead. 
uh, auto auto arm the spoilers and arm the reversers as well here so that's looking good we're gonna go into the fms here oh i haven't downloaded the data so we're gonna go ahead and download that uh i have really good fps too are you flying the one uh the 700 as well my man i uh, explain 11 there we go downloaded and i'm gonna bring up the control scam here so i can use this FMS right here so you guys can see that and enjoy the views. Uh, let's see on the... Actually, am I able to pop up the FMS? Alright, there we go. So now you guys can uh, see outside the window. Maybe catch a couple planes landing or something. Uh, we'll see. Alright, so here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go... It's good. Uh, flight plan here. And then I'm gonna put in K O K C. It always doesn't want to work, right? Uh, K. Okay, there we go. K O K C. I'm gonna put that in, and then we're gonna go K I A H. Bigger J is in the house. What's going on, my man? Welcome, welcome, welcome aboard. Uh, DC Fly says uh, Wagwa. Uh, Bigger J says Wagwa. DC Fly says I'm on the ERJ 145. Taking one sound right, uh, let me get the weather briefing here. So let's do uh, search there. 130 at 4. Yeah, 17 would be nice. Yeah, we can take 17s, either of them, whichever I'm closest to. Uh, so I'm going to go K O K C A. Hold on. K O K C K I A H01. And I'm going to put that in the company route. Uh, thing executes. Wait, where's uh all right so that's good uh flight number is uh cactus we're cactus usa 949 guys we're just one subscriber away from our road to 1k that's that is big that is huge guys what a way to start the new year and we're just 50 uh, actually 51 now 51 away from our road uh from our 1k the biggest milestone on the channel so far so that's looking good uh wait why okay flight number why did it load here okay that's that's interesting but it's fine uh we're gonna go to departures and arrivals uh departure obviously uh we do not have atc here in oklahoma so we're gonna check what departure i have from sim brief uh, Moody 3 and Alfred. So what I'm looking at uh, Moody 3. Yeah, it's bro. Okay, hold on. Uh, cancel mod. Let's do Moody 3. Okay, so it wants me to pick a runway first. So let's check what's the nearest runway to us. Uh, KOKC, here we go. Uh, airport. There we go. And here we are. So 17 right is the closest. So we'll take that. We'll take 17 right, Moody 3, and Alfred. At this point, gonna hit execute here. And we're gonna go back to departures arrivals index. Arrival, we will be on Gusher 3. Uh, let's see if I can find that one. Next page Gusher 3. And then we are looking at CVE transition. And I'm going to execute that. Go to the next page. Uh, Algerian Simmer is in the house. What is going on, Algerian Simmer? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Good to see you here. Welcome aboard. All right. So, Vector, GG Lops. That's looking good. Uh, discontinuity, Alfred. Uh, direct CVE is what the route suggests. So, I'm just going to put that in here and execute again. Now, uh, let's check the next page. And we are looking pretty fantastic. We're ready to go here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my camera seems to have moved just a tad little bit. I'm gonna go back to here and save. It's cool. Um, all right, with that, we are ready to almost, almost done, almost done, and we're ready to go. Uh, we're gonna set the MCP here. So I'm gonna pop this one out. And Algerian Simmer says, uh, it's, uh, the CRJ 700 is, uh, $50 on the org store, my friend. It's, 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 uh, it's a paper aircraft, my man. 
It's a pay rare aircraft. But it's a beautiful aircraft. It's absolutely fantastic. Look at the external model out there. Like, just this amazing piece of aircraft. One of the best ones. I mean, does not have a custom FMS, but that does not stop it from being amazing. That's the beauty about this. And also, I was wondering about this airport. I was like, oh, when did I get a paver airport at Oklahoma? I'm not sure. Like, this is not paver airport. It's just, just good airport textures. And as you can see, the runways seem to be default. So that's also pretty cool. Uh, no, I, I purposely did not choose the runway on arrival because since we're flying online on Watson and we will have ATC into Houston, uh, they will assign the runway for arrival. So we just put in the arrival and then once we get closer to the airport, when the ATC assigns you the runway, that's when you punch that in. That's why I don't have the runway in at the arrival of Jerry and Simmer. That is why I don't. All right. Uh, so I was gonna do this uh, and then my runway heading is 176 um, uh, actually you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, first off I'll get the lights for myself I keep forgetting where that is uh, but give me a second here mm, there we go Integro there we go a little bit of floodlight that's good panel so that's good here. Um, I got the lighting here going. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, let me check here. Uh, Integra lighting as well going up. A little bit on the flood. Just a tad little bit. And then we go on that side and get that one going as well. So there we go. And there. Is it working, Drew? We'll find out in a second here <laughs> if it's working. I don't know what stops it from working. Uh, er, oh my goodness. Thank you so, so much for subscribing. James G, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the family. And guys, officially, James G is the 950th subscriber and the person who is responsible for putting us on an official road to 1k ladies and gentlemen we are just 50 away from 1k cannot wait thank you so much james welcome to the family and he says uh, he doesn't know his arrival runway until he reaches the tracon yeah that's absolutely right man thank you thank you and guys if you haven't already all the new people coming in today make sure to join the discord if you haven't already uh hang out with us we have an ever growing family on discord as well pretty active recently so feel free to check it out as well all right so lights are good to go uh now i'm finally gonna go ahead and set the runway heading here uh which is gonna be i'm just gonna use my bravo here and set that uh wait hold on there we go so runway heading is 176 i gotta do a lot of this there we go one seven there we go one seven six all right um speeds we gotta do the wee speeds here let's oh actually i haven't loaded up the aircraft as well we always fly full so 68 and uh fuel that's a lot of fuel hey okay hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. i gotta be on kilograms here otherwise my flight plan would mess everything up all right there we go um, so that's about 4.5 uh, the fuel required for this flight as flight as per the flight plan is uh, 4.2 so I guess what I can do is uh, 2100 zero, zero, and just let it balance out there that would be pretty cool uh, doesn't seem like it worked so let me let me try recycle that uh, cloud bot here um, that should I don't, I don't know why it does not work there we go I'm gonna egg enable it again and yeah check it out if you want uh, all right so that's good um, mm -hmm, that is good to go we're gonna go here uh, take off speeds we won we are okay there we go so load just taking the fuel is looking good passengers is good total weight is a 29183 low takeoff speeds here um and that should be good to go here 124 124 and 135 
All right, that's good. Houston Center came on. Yeah, there's an event going on, my man. There's an event there, so we're gonna get ATC once we take off. Uh, is Houston Center co covering Oklahoma as well? If yes, then we might have to get clearance. But in the meantime, we're good. Um, all right, what am I missing here? All right, so speeds. Uh, we're gonna set this to uh, one eight, one actually two hundred knots here. Uh, because that's what I want to do on the climb. We're gonna quickly go here and we're gonna go uh, here and check our speed. Uh, I'm gonna do 280 on that speed. Uh, 0.74 is fine. I'm gonna go to the next one. Uh, that's that's a really fast cruise. So I'm gonna say 290 and uh, 0.76. There we go. So cruise altitude is 330. Let's put that in here. Uh, unable 1800 at uh, yeah whatever that is. Uh, and then descent profile is looking good as well. Okay, there we go. It's working now. Perfect. Thank you for checking. Uh, see cow my man. How you doing? Football as well. This guy is like <laughs> on a winning streak. There we go. All right, legs. So we're good to go with the FMS. Uh, we have said the V speeds. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Flight director. Okay, that's fine. Um, fuel, fuel boost pumps. Let's turn them on. And uh, so my heading is set. Altitude is not set. So I'm going to set the altitude to uh, our cruise altitude of 33,000 feet or flat level 330. Uh, if you guys are wondering where I'm seeing it, it's right here. Or well, maybe. There we go. Three. There we go. Three, three, zero. So this is looking good. Fantastic. Two, 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 zero, zero as well. Uh, I believe we are ready for engine start. Here we go. APU is uh, uh, right here. So we're going to turn that on. Uh, APU SLV open and APU start. Let's go to the outside of you here and turn the music off to enjoy the sounds. How much is Boga now? Uh, it's 2000. <laughs> now that's the thing like uh, I, it's it's impossible to do Boga on every stream so it's like I have to raise it <laughs> exactly so it's it, it should be like a rare thing or people will get bored seeing the same thing over and over again too so that is another thing uh, I'm gonna go here uh, where's my sound settings here and exterior engines are full right now so we should be able to hear it uh, we're gonna go call better pushback and start pushback ground a cockpit please show me where you want to go and that's dc flies hanging out there ground a cockpit toe is driving up all right while he is driving up we're gonna go uh, where's my doors there we go close all the doors there we go doors are coming off and that confirms all the doors are closed here. So APU's coming on, wonderful. I wanna make sure uh, that's good. Uh, my anti-ice, what's the temperature like in Houston? <laughs> I mean, we're not gonna need <laughs> anti-ice, but I'm always, always, always gonna be careful about that now. Weather briefing. Uh, temperature one two. All right, so that's fine. We 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 should be fine if we do go okay, through a cloud. We will turn the anti on. Ready to connect. Uh, but want to make sure my uh these things probe heats are coming on, and yeah, wonderful. Um, also I gotta change. One trap and adapter in position. Release parking brake when ready to start pushback. Hold on, what was I supposed to do? Okay, nav source is going to be FMS1. And then format is going to be this. Right, that's better. And he said release parking brakes when ready to go. I'm just going to check our engine pressure, APU, anti-ice. It is recommending that I have the anti-ice. And it does say emergency lights are off. 
So where's my emergency lights right here? I'm just gonna put them to arm and it says I need anti ice so I'll turn the anti ice on. Uh, and we're gonna release the parking brakes. Butt kicker coming on. Uh, mock trim is good. And we are gonna go here, release. And oop. Is he pushing us? Oh, I see. I think external power is connected. Okay. Alright, um, just check in here. External power should go away by itself. On behalf of the captain and crew, welcome aboard the There we go. Are we, he, is he pushing us with the... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's pushing us with the external power. There we go. And let's turn on the engines. Here we go. Uh, overhead. Engine number one coming on. Oh, sorry. Ignition on and hit start. See positive anterior rotation at about 10 to 15 percent. We dis dis disengage the lock and put this up front. Wait, why is this behind? Yeah, this should, okay. That that wasn't how it's supposed to. I think I messed something up. Ooh, those sounds. I'm always amazed at the beautiful sounds on this aircraft. There we go. And that engine is good to go. We're gonna go turn on the right engine. Hit start on that. I'm nearly ready to push. All right, perfect then. Um, N2 positive. Well, then gear really worries down. That's good. And there we go. Hit that one up and watch this one come alive. Here we go. In your sights. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and the subscribe button if you're enjoying the content. Both of them are free. Alright, set the parking brake. Here we go. Parking brake set. And let's see what the FMA indicator tells us. Gen 2 off, Gen 1 off. APU is door is on. So I'm just going to check. Yeah, it's all on auto. Um... So it should be good. Uh, we forgot to turn on the beacon light. Uh, logo light not needed. So there we go. All right. Um, it still says Gen two, Gen one, and Gen two are off. I'm just gonna test something here. Uh, parking brake is set. Uh, okay. Oh, do, do, do. Oh, it's disconnected. Okay, yeah, it's, it's on that. So, ignition comes off. Um, an AP, we're gonna stop it. Here we go. Oklahoma City traffic, uh, Cactus uh, 949, uh, taxiing runway 17 right uh, via Charlie 6 Alpha Lima. All right, there we go. We're good to go. All right, those those errors have gone, so we are ready. Let's go. Let's do a little flight controls test here, uh, which is supposed to be. Uh, there we go. Left, right, up. Uh, wait, what's up with the elevators? Riders are good. My elevator seems jammed, or maybe that's all it is. I gotta have to make sure we have the trim in in uh, line with what we need. Uh, right here, uh, trim is 7.8, so let's check that here. Oh my goodness, okay, there we go. Trim, <laughs> that would have been a disaster. There we go. Uh, okay, that doesn't change anything, but that's fine. Uh, holding short says DC flies. Look behind you. Okay, that's Southwest. That's Bobby Edmonds. Uh, I'm gonna reduce that volume a little and let's go. DC flies is waiting for us. 
So we're gonna go parking brake. Is it off? Okay, it's off. Let's go. Hey, Seacal, no worries, my man. Thank you so much for hanging out, if that's all, um, and you know, it's always good. All good, man. Nothing to worry about. Uh, let's turn on the taxi lights here, and uh, we're good to go. If I can get everyone's attention, we will now review safety information regarding the flight today. When you see the seatbelt sign illuminate, you must fasten your seatbelt, insert the metal fitting, just gonna keep this on to make sure I have uh, hold on uh, not this one uh, altimeter I gotta check the altimeter as well uh, but that's our ground speed 11 knots that's a pretty decent enough for taxi why are you not using CTAF I did and Charlie 6 coming on Bro, I just made the announcement about the taxi. I probably weren't on the frequency or something. I'm following the exact same taxi route that I announced. Clear left, clear right. Traveling with a child or someone who needs help, please secure your own mask first. After that, you can assist the other person. And please keep your mask on and look to remember if I need to remove it. All right, man. See ya. You have a great one, buddy. And thank you for stopping by, man. Absolutely appreciate it. There we go. That's beautiful. Now we're gonna go right here. That's DC flies lining up there. Uh, we, once we get on that straightaway, we're gonna take the flaps out. And we'll continue. Aviation Master is starting up, man. You better do a full speed taxi, buddy. <laughs> and this is the beautiful about, part about this aircraft is once you get to a ground speed you want, so say 13 knots, and now I have the engines back on idle, it will try to maintain that speed for a bit. So we're doing like, yeah, okay. It does not slow down like way too fast. So in that case, uh, let's go ahead, get the flaps out. Uh, that's gonna be on eight and eight. There we go, about there. There we go, flaps coming out. That's why I chose the... Yeah, taxi does feel better. Like, it's maintaining the speed for sure, Andre. Welcome, man. Good to see you here, buddy. Oh, uh, DC Fly's taking off. There we go. He's gone. And the 145. Embraer 145. And who is this guy? Oh, that's probably John. Oh, John's number two. I see. Hey, John. Welcome. Yeah, that's the... That's his challenger. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, John's number two. We are number three. Um, Bobby is number four. And then Aviation Master is number five. Oh, that's pretty cool. Five people party. That is neat. Some nice views here. There we go. And there's John. He's probably waiting for that wave turbulence. Uh, he probably doesn't even need the whole length of the runway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up in uh, behind him and then let him depart. If he does start moving, then I will move. If he doesn't, then uh, I'll just go to the next one. Traffic exception 800, uh, lining up 17 right, departing south. Uh, All right, there we go. I'll just go up there. 
Getting brake checked by a CRJ. <laughs> oh, bro, you're like way too far out. There's no way I'm gonna do that. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go, guys. Uh, John's lining up as well. Oklahoma City traffic. Uh, Cactus 949 lining up behind the departing Challenger. And I don't see anyone, so that's fine. And he's rolling, so we can go ahead and line up here. There we go, landing lights coming on. Shropes coming on as well. And guys, get your togas in the chat. We don't have to worry about the wake turbulence, but spam your togas in the chat. What's your guys' departure runway? 17 right is what we're taking. Fly the new plane free Metro Flyner. Man, I gotta check that out, buddy. Gotta check that out. Alright, here we go lined up. There's Sean. You can see he has departed here. I'm just gonna wait, give him some space. I know that aircraft climbs like a rocket. So here we go. Let's go. Wave that out. And we are ready to go, guys. So, in about, let's do a 10 second count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Oklahoma traffic, uh, Cactus 949, departing runway 17 right, Oklahoma. There we go, let's hear that from the outside, the spool of the engines. Look at those sounds. There we go, pitching down. knots reducing the forward pressure here and we won rotate will rogers traffic southwest 2442 line up and wing 17 right will rogers there we go beautiful departure here oh and sun right on it positive rates gear up can't see a thing x and y -O. And we're gonna go flight directors. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What am I missing? Uh, right, there we go. So we're gonna go direct to Glops here. And okay, cancel. Hold on, I'm just gonna put this on heading. Oklahoma traffic. Oops, whoopsie. Whoa, 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 My bad, my bad. I over trimmed it. I over trimmed it. Uh, let me do this autopilot engage. Uh, flight directors are back on. I'm gonna select, say, heading, and then I'm gonna say speed. We gotta maintain. Uh, I'm gonna bring the throttle back to climb. Here we go. And ask the aircraft to maintain. Uh, let's say about gonna go flaps up and where's my speed bug here we go 245 that's good or climbing and then now I'm gonna go cancel cancel mod uh, and then direct gloves execute and I think we are well on our path now. Glops is straight up there. Uh, coming up at 10,000 feet. That was that was quick. That was quick. Oh my goodness. Look at that ortho. Just a little flyby here. Oh, you guys got to see that ortho. Beautiful sights here on the outside. Clear. The day is like clear. We're going to turn off the lights here. Landing lights. Nose lights coming off. And 
We are good to go. Passenger sign seat belts can come off. This thing is climbing like a rocket for sure. Uh, maintaining the speed we have asked it to maintain. I'm just going to raise that up a little bit on that and continue that climb. Look at these views, man. Oh, boy. The Wii States, yeah, Wii States are absolutely amazing. Why you don't fly real time, Bobby? The re the reason why I do not fly real time is because if I did, then I would always be flying in the dark every time I flew in the U.S. Because this is our regular stream schedule, my man. That is why. Look at that. We got some turbulence here. X and Waro. Oh boy. So we're good with that. And controls can go enough. We're gonna bring the music on. There we go. Um, there. Alrighty. Yeah, that is why I don't fly real time because the otherwise you would only see night landings. Uh, look at that. Okay, that was I believe Aviation Master. Uh, and then we got some layer of clouds coming up. Local weather, beautiful part of Xenvara as well. Uh, well, look at those colors, man. Oh my god, I love it. It's like Orbex level stuff, man. Orbex level stuff. But yeah, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button. We have officially started our road to 1K. We're 49 away from 1K, the biggest milestone on the channel uh, we will ever reach. And I mean, we we have ever reached rather. We I mean, we are gonna hit bigger and bigger milestones as the time passes. But here we go. Cloud layer comes in. We gotta check it out here. That's beautiful clouds. Uh, sauce. It is. It is, my man. It, it absolutely is, man. All right. Here we go. I'm just gonna monitor the speed here. Uh, we're 18,000 feet, so I can uh, raise that speed here up to uh, 280. On the climb, so aircraft will pitch down um, to gather speed and then continue the climb from thereafter. But right here's the cloud layers coming up, beautiful layers of clouds. Eighteen thousand feet altimeter goes to standard. There we go, and then that one as well. You're coming back, and we're back to our view. Look at these sights, man. Cannot ask for anything better. Like this aircraft gives like great screenshots as well. I'm just why, trying to find the sun shining off the skin here of the aircraft. Probably not. Uh, delivery might not be PBR. But yeah, this is a screenshot. Here we go. Alright, so what are we looking at here? So we're definitely zooming out here. And our top of climb will be coming up in a second. And then we're going to check, uh, we're going to get rid of these charts. We're going to go HOU here and, uh, sorry, KIAH. And that's the international. Let's go next. And then bring up the charts here. Airport 70. That's the first time I'm ever seeing that number on the charts. But there we go. Who's in the Challenger? Um, it's uh, John. John's in the Challenger. Um, here we go. Well, that's our little group flight here. Um, I think. Now yeah, hold on. This is DC Flies, and then this is John. This is DC Flies. This this is John. Uh, that's me. We got uh, Bobby, and then behind that, I believe that's uh, uh, Aviation Master taking off in the Southwest uh, 1007. Right, so he's taken off. That's pretty cool as well. We're maintaining 280 on that climb, which is great. Look at those clouds. Oh boy, that is fantastic. That's some clouds there. 
this is the beauty of fixed environment. Look at look at how many frames we're getting. 50 frames. Like oh boy, I I I, I don't know what happened suddenly. It's like we're getting great frames, and there. Um, Bobby says, cool to see these flies getting bigger. Yeah, man, absolutely. We're like what? We're flying. What is it? Uh, John. DC flies two, three, four, five. Five people, five man, five man flights. Within no time, we'll be at 50, man. We'll be at 50. Anyone and everyone who's new to the channel, and if you want to fly with us, we'll be back on Thursday. Feel free to join the Discord to get a get a notice in advance of what and where the fly, the stream is going to be, and you guys can feel free to fly a lot, fly along anytime if you can fly on Watson. Absolutely no question about that. Uh, we're gonna check here X pilot toggle aircraft label. So that's that's him, uh, Bobby, and then that's aviation master. And then in front of us, we got that's John. I don't know why he's like all the way up there. And then this is DC flies. I think they probably took like a shortcut or something. I'm not sure. Sam Brief gave them something else. So 26,000 now. Lovely clouds. Look at that. Oh boy. Tell me that's not realistic. It kind of gives me like the VR feel of the depth and stuff. Like I can clearly tell. That's pretty nice. Pretty neat. I was trying to say nice and neat at the same time. Alright, so I'm gonna check quickly. Houston Center is 134.425. And let's see where we are. Alright. 134. Let's go here. 134.425. There we go. So just putting it in the standby one. And we'll see there. If we get more than 10 people or so, we can probably get ZOA fully staffed. Yeah, absolutely, man. I, I got I got some friends there as well. Um, we got uh, Chew the Sky Studios. Always be there. But yeah, if we if we start getting enough people every single stream, then we can start requesting in a lot of places. Start requesting ATC in a lot of places. That is definitely gonna be the case. Looks like you might have a tad too much bloom shaders. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about, I think, because of the aircraft, like, shining. But I think I'm, uh, the thing is, uh, I can go here, settings, and then... There we go. I think that's better. I'll take that. That's better. Look at that ortho. Oh boy. Is that like night lighting ortho? <laughs> it kind of looks like that. So shiny. Yeah, DC flies always like he's like boom 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 ready to go. I'm getting out of here, guys. <laughs> he's always the first one to depart, man. He's always the first one to depart. Look at that, man. You can request me for- yeah! <laughs> That's an official way to request ATC, that is for sure. Look at that. Those singular clouds you, you see so many times in the sky. It's exactly how it is. Just a, like no clouds behind, no clouds up here. Are those like mountains or something? It does look like a mountainous area, but it looks flat. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be. What rating are you? I think he's tower, isn't it? It's coming up on 13 likes. Thank you so, so much, guys. Absolutely. Look at those contrails, man. Look at those contrails. Just gonna go further away. Uh, they're a little tiny, 
Or maybe it depends on the... Yeah, that's that's how it is. It's like, it doesn't always stretch, like, way too far behind, like, regular X-Plane. I think this is the X and Y we're controlling the length of the contrails because that depends on a lot of factors, like the temperature, the humidity at that altitude, and so many other things. All right, I, pay, I better pay attention here. Uh, we're leveled off, so I'm just going to reduce the power here um, to keep the speed in check. Aviation Master says, my friend is still joining, so we're going to have a later arrival. All right, sounds good, man. Who is, you? Who is your friend, though? Uh-oh. <laughs> you guys know what? I never went to nav. I got to go direct. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Direct, 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 direct. Uh, CVE. And let's put that. Oh, 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 oh. What, what, what is what is the aircraft here? Uh, hold on, hold on. Execute. No, wait, hold on. Direct. Next page. CVE. Why does it say not in database? Alright, I'll try legs of CVE. Let's put that here. What do you mean no? Alright, let's try champs. doesn't want me to do that uh, I'm gonna go to like uh, say heading again and then try direct champs there we go execute that and then now I'm gonna go nav here we go that is helpful oh, we're still gaining speed reducing the throttle again Particle says, oh, I see. So that's that's the aircraft. That's not X and Wario. Okay. Okay, that's 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 our man AJ right here. That's because of that redesign. That's pretty cool, man. It does it does look amazing. That is for sure. Like, okay, let's see if I'm like all the way down here, I'm not clicking anything. And see how long that contrail goes. Not too much. That's that's realistic in some look, look occasions. So if we're like sitting all the way down here on the ground, you can see that. That's pretty cool, man. That is so cool. Look at that. That is fancy. You're catching up to me? Bro, I'm doing like 300 knots. Just keeping that power up. There we go, the trend line, just, just keeping an eye on that. Trying to maintain speed. Um, doing fantastic so far, so we seem to have found a decent um, setting. Look at that ortho. It's all good, like different colors. Yeah, okay, this is like the patchy area. But yeah, don't mind it, just look at one of those. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. Uh, so... Okay, like this guy, Bobby is catching up. Uh, he's catching up as well. Yeah, guys, keep spacing. Also, don't forget the spacing. <laughs> Boom. Drew's, Drew's catching up to that 2,000 points for the Boga Redeem. <laughs> well, guys, uh, here's here's a tip or advice to you. Start saving up on your points. Because you know we're getting close to 1K. We're getting very close to 1K. And what happens at the milestones? giveaways and at giveaways you're gonna have to use those points to buy to get a better chance at winning those giveaways so start saving up your points otherwise see <laughs> you you have a lesser chance of winning the giveaways so yeah make sure you guys save don't be reckless uh, and go from there you're getting close to the challenger am I oh yeah I see I see, I'm getting close. Why? Isn't the Challenger supposed to be fast? We're just gonna reduce the throttle a tad little bit, reduce the power. There we go. Did you see how many carriers stopped flying to the US? No. What happened? Which, like, all over the world? 
And why? Well, because of Omicron? This is a pretty decent route, I would say. Like, some nice shaped water and those rivers and the breaks from there. That's pretty neat. I had to climb to 3, 9 or 0 speeding up. No, I see. Oh, he's going like way higher than us. There we go. Alright, so here we are. Uh, let's check the arrival chart here real quick. 5G. Oh! Oh, Air India stopped because of that. I see. I see. I was trying to get uh, get an Air India ticket. But, I, like, did showed no flight. So probably why interesting uh, it's a Houston right here uh, we're gonna check uh, what's the airport called hold on uh, X and wire weather briefing K I a H and let's search that 170 at 6 uh, are the winds so let's see 170 so we can definitely take the one fives probably get the one fives and then the parking is gonna be here so that's gonna be a little bit of a long taxi uh, we're gonna go back uh, let's check the arrival and uh, we are on uh, what was what was my arrival I think gusher 3 let me check my flight plan yeah gusher 3 what's your mock good question let me check that out I'm doing Mach 0.74 Actually, yeah, Mach 0.74 current speed Intended to go Mach 0.77 Where is John? Okay, now, yeah, I think we've gotten that uh, That's fine Yeah, that flying the aircraft has definitely improved After this hotfix And the aircraft is maintaining the speed much better, that is for sure So no auto throttle, remember, on this aircraft So, anyway we're coming like from up here top uh, next waypoint is gonna be champs so we're looking at champs right there and then we gotta start descending uh, after torn so we have a restriction 240 or above and at 280 point eight I see yeah I think it should be good man I think you should be good and you're not even like I think we're flying on a different air ray as well all right this FedEx is coming in all right so are we are we in Houston yet though are we in Houston let's check that out here maps okay. there we go uh, look at all these aircrafts around us Probably okay. We're still not in uh, Texas, I believe. We're, we're, we're get probably close to being inside Texas. I have the frequency set up. So Denton, I don't know where Denton is, but if I can find, uh, that's San Antonio. That's Texas for sure. I think we're in Texas, but might not be under Houston Center yet. Well, there's so many aircraft around us right now. That's that's looking more like it. Ooh, look at that horse. Holy moly, that looks good. Jeez, that looks amazing. Damn, bro. No way. Hey, imagine this with X-Plane 12 water. It's like just gonna blow it out of the park. We got some water masks as well. It's fantastic. This is good. This is really impressive. Imagine sitting on a window here and uh, which one's better? All right. Yeah, this is like, yeah, look at that. That's really nice. We states for the win. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, these are some good views. I, I kind of want to start flying in VR, but my frames will tank and I can't even stream in VR, so it's kind of it makes no sense to get a VR headset. So, yeah, but that, that would be pretty nice to see all this kind of crazy stuff in VR. That would be amazing. And look at those freeways and stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the power lines are, yeah, you shouldn't be able to see the power lines from up here. Yeah, that is better. Something is conflicting with the power lines, but it's fine. Like, bro, this is X-Plane. Can you believe it? 
Oh, we got an airport underneath us. What airport are we going over? Uh, oh, that's Fort Worth. That's Dallas Fort Worth, ladies and gentlemen. We got two parallel runways far apart from each other and then we got other sets of parallel. So we got six runways at Fort Worth. That's pretty cool. That's some great views. Oh yeah. Oh baby. That is man, I this is that's when I you know say it that ortho is worth it guys like it, just get a hard drive yeah I'm loading off this ortho off of my uh, spinning hard drive it's not even an SSD and we're still doing great so just get like a four eight terabyte I think eight terabyte if you get an eight terabyte hard drive you are more than set to get these amazing visuals like throughout the world like uh, talking about ortho uh, all right so I'm gonna have to start descending real quick but before that I'm just gonna bring up ortho here and show you guys how much I have now done on the ortho for XP so all right here we go so let's quickly check this and then I'll start descending all right look at this oh I still have to do that one tile here but I got the entire Spain I got the entire Italy except this Venice area I still have to do that I have to do Genoa uh, and Geneva but I apart from that entire France Germany is coming to a close uh, Dortmund remains we got a little bit of Netherlands uh, I have Orbex true earth right here and then the entire England and Ireland is done uh, we got the in entire South Africa apart from the airports which I still have to do and then obviously US is usually V states and then this is like important parts of Canada like usually the, all the most of the airports are down south so I have that going but yeah that's a little little update on what I have on it just a little update uh, I better start descending here uh, I'm gonna go look at the charts and at Rafine uh, 240, or oh, actually it says above 240, but we're gonna have to start descending here. So, yeah, let's start descending then. Uh, altitude, I'm just gonna pop this one out here so you guys can see it. And uh, altitude coming down to 240. And then what I'm gonna say is um, go vertical speed and then uh, let's do like say 1500 feet per minute and I'm gonna reduce the power here. There we go. Approach is on as well. Yeah, they, they have an event so they're gonna have someone all right, 330, 240 is what we're trying to get there. Uh, we will exactly get there at Rafine. We're trying to maintain the speed for now. And we will go from there. Just a little flyby here. The weather looks neat. Very clear day. Clear skies. Should call for an interesting landing, that is for sure. Some scenic approach into Houston. City sleeps rather. Ah, right, we've already started our descent, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and the sub button, guys. We are 49 away from that magical 1K number. That's uh, every streamer's, every YouTuber's dream. Like the, the initial dream is always to get to 1k guys. Okay, it is getting close up there. We have quite a bit of aircrafts in the air today. And we're, we now have a good distance between us and uh, M and then DC flies is like just get smoking all of us. <laughs> Yeah, this is doing good. Maintaining 280 on that descent, that's perfect. 
I'm just gonna bring that zoom a little bit in. I'm uh, gonna give the weather check again. Okay, 170 at six. Uh, altimeter is 299 or five. That's good. Uh, look at that, that's us. That's so cool. I wish Microsoft Flight Sim had such camera views. Unfortunate. I wish Microsoft Flight Sim had this flight model. Uh, we're doing great here. It's pretty decent on the approach. Speed's going up just a little bit. Reduce that power. just constantly doing the throttles and do we have an ATIS oh we do so here's the ATIS uh, we got information Delta 1706 uh, 19 temperature 1912 uh, altimeter 2995 ILS or RNAV Yankee runway 26 right, ILS 26 left, and ILS 27 simultaneous approaches and use departing runway. So I don't care about departing, so we're gonna get either of the 26s or the 27. Uh, arrivals expect ILS again. Simultaneous approaches and use departing runway 33. Okay, that's fine. All aircraft taxi with transponder on, lasso 26, land and hold short 26 left active. And advise you have information delta. Um, before that, uh, I gotta make sure my TCAS is no Charlie. Let's go. And back to the screen. It's I 90 approach. Trying to look at this one maintaining 280. And we are inbound to Torin now. Doing a nice one, 1500 feet per minute. That's all that's needed right now. Okay. And then it's, we should be at 280 knots, which we're doing right now. 280, that's perfect. No auto throttle on this aircraft. Got to do it there, Houston Center. Um, there we go. Let's contact them. Uh, whenever you reach your top of the set, you're good to descend down to Fireball 240. No worries, and you can expect stride at 1 1000 for your planning purposes. We are 4994, descend a pilot discussion, maintain 15000, the New Orleans altimeter is 3012. Just waiting to call. Houston Center, Cactus uh, 949, uh, fly level 250. Cactus 949, Houston Center, good evening, squawk 2440. 2440, Cactus 949. Uh, hold on. Two. Hold on. Uh, okay. Okay, my bad. Exactly. Eight hundred. Maintain mark seven six. Four. There we go. Two four. And four zero. There we go. All right. Two th fly level two four zero now. Uh, and then we're leveling. Four nine. Radar contact. Change the gusher three arrival to read the driller five arrival. And maintain Mach point seven six for sequence. Uh, what was the arrival again for Cactus nine four nine? In Cactus nine four nine, uh, the driller five Delta Romeo Lima Lima Romeo, and actually say your uh, indicated airspeed. Uh, driller five. Currently, we are doing about two seven five. Hi, Cactus nine forty nine. Maintain two seven zero knots. 
two seven zero knots. Skaxis nine forty nine forty nine. There we go. So we gotta change our arrival here. Our arrival uh, is gonna be in a reverse band to Driller uh, Five. And let me check the chart here real quick. We gotta do this. Uh, there we go. Driller Five, and then CVE. So I'm just gonna select that right now, and execute. Legs. Uh, we should be inbound. Torn refine oil. Uh, D plan as a stack. So, all right, so we are looking on the right arrival. Such a clear skies, man. That's crazy. Hey, you know, you too, man. Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome aboard. After, after all the madnesses of crazy ISANs and IFR land, and IMC landings, we now have an opportunity to get a clear, clear landing. See the ground for a little bit. Can't ask for anything better. Center November 55449 is back. Welcome back. Look at how good that livery looks, man. Uh, you said I maintain 270, uh, so we got to maintain 270. Uh, maintain I'm just going to give that a little bit of power the here. Three arrival to read the driller five and I'm arrival. doing absolutely fantastic. Definitely enjoying right, flying this aircraft. Can we maintain 280 for... FedEx 1155, roger, maintain audible 280. I'm trying to maintain like 270 here. Yeah, this is definitely easier maintaining speed than this thing. Alright, we'll uh, look in the driller 5, 1155. Southwest 2442, squawk 2567, 2567. There we go, reducing the power further, just trying to maintain there. The trend line is good. Uh, it's not reducing, so this should help us maintain the altitude and restriction. Frontier Flight 1499, say you're at Mach number. Alright, so now we're inbound refine. Oh, refine oil? <laughs> Is that like sales tax? <laughs> and you drill the oil. Oh my god. That's some crazy names. Yep, that's exactly how it is. I don't know what torn is, but refine oil. I don't know what D plan stands for, but that's some sort of tax. Uh, you send the oil in the pipe, you pump it. Or you drill the oil, petrol. Yep, we're getting that fucking right now. Let's go. <laughs> that's critical. Cool. Patrol is, an, is another word for gasoline for anyone who's wondering what patrol is. Uh, but yeah, pump. Diesel, you got diesel, you got fuel. Oh my god, this is crazy. Crazy stuff. No, uh, 240, 270 is what we're maintaining right now. Actually, this is 272. We're just slightly fast right now. Um, refine, okay, nothing on refine. Oil is still 240 above or 280 knots, but we're told to maintain 270. So we're just showing that flat level 240 right now. Um, and just, yeah. FedEx 1155, maintain 280 knots. Yeah, the livery is fire, man. I love the livery. Cactus 949, maintain 260 for sequence. 260, Cactus 949. Alright, let's go even slower, unfortunately. 260, and I'm gonna bring the power back here. Let's do some... Some of that. John Franco is here. What's up, man? Would you like, uh, Crazy Texans came up with that. <laughs> that yeah, but it's it's really nice, though. It's sometimes it's always fun to see all these kind of stuff. Oil, the other you know, five five arrival, two oh, yeah, just just crazy, crazy arrival here. All right, right further uh, reducing the speed. Here, Power's here, coming out. Just a little bit of speed uh, break here to help us make two six zero here. Frontier Flight 1499, yeah, uh, that's, that's all the speed break I need here. Yeah. Frontier Flight 1499, Houston. Blue Street 
check it. Uh, oh, the speed's dropping just a little bit. And I'm raising the speed right now. And I'm raising the power here. Alright guys, it's, it's been a while since we got our last start of... Let's see if we can get one today. Contact New Orleans approach 125.5. I don't know what those are. Like, what are those? Anyone know what that is? Like, those are like. American 22 is in public speed to them. seem to be like. Small roads into like a farmland or something, but everything looks like a farmland down there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's some fancy landscaping right there. That is bad. It's like, it looks like someone's hairstyle. <laughs> oh boy. Some crazy work that we're getting to see in Texas. I don't find Texas that often, so look at that. We got some more landscaping going on. Blue Streak 4759, descend to maintain level 240, transition to 280 knots. I mean, trying to maintain that too severe, yeah, probably because of like the weather changes and stuff as well. And power back. You gotta pay, you gotta spend more time in, inside the cockpit than outside. Alright, we got decent amount of fuel, we still have 3,000 kilograms. There are 70% maintaining just a little bit. 949, descend via the driller 5 arrival. Uh, resume public speed at import. This is going to be a drill of five and resume publish speed at import, uh, Cactus 949. Alright, so at import we gotta go back to 280 knots. Still a little bit up there. Frontier flight 1499, uh, like the most critical spot. So oil is 240 or above. And then 220 or above at deep land, so we're gonna go you. completely uh, down to 220. Yeah, you're, just, you're like right in the air, you're like 15 minutes from landing. Can, can you just, can uh -oh. you wait just a little bit? I'm just gonna go set up the heading there and then altitude. American 1539. And then we're gonna use vertical speed again and then let's do like. Maintain 280 knots in the transition to indicated airspeed. I think it's only wise to open the controls cam up early today. Um, so you guys can see all the little throttle changes that I have to make uh, in order to be able to fly this aircraft at uh, published speeds. So we're descending nicely, 220 uh, at deep plane, 220 or I think I can raise that to 1500 feet per minute. Here we go, 1500 feet per minute and then reduce the power here just a little bit. And then once we are at import, we'll maintain 280 knots and then at trailer 250. Bearing 481, Houston Center, hello. Descend to maintain flight level 270. Correction, descend to maintain flight level 280. Level 280. Uh, some scenery textures could not be loaded. Descend to maintain 11,000. The uh, Houston Center, correction, the New Orleans altimeter is 3012. So, speed is rising, but I think we're fine. And Frontier Flight 752. Just, probably uh, just bring the throttle a tad little bit down. And FedEx 1155, contact Houston. There's level enough. 270 here, once we level off, we have to increase the speed again. 
uh, what waypoint actually you might not even have to level up. This is tax 240 below or 200. So you can. Now you gotta yell. And then let's go altitude 20,000. Cactus 949, contact Houston approach 120.05, resume publish speed to the import. 120.05 and we'll resume publish speed to the import, uh, Cactus 949, thank you. Uh, let's go 120.05. And we go 120.05, there we go. Uh, speed is dropping a little bit. I'm just gonna raise the power here, and at import we gotta be back to 280 knots. So let's go there, and let's increase that. So import is 16,000. Just gonna continue that descent down to 16,000. We said 120.05, there we go. And uh, Houston approach, uh, Cactus 949. Cactus 949, information Delta Cameron back when you have it. We expect the ILS 26 left approach. We have information Delta and we'll expect ILS 26 left approach, uh, Cactus 949. All right, two six left approach. So we're gonna go to departures arrivals, arrival here, and ILS two six left. And I'm gonna hit execute. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna close this one. We're gonna go all the way back there. Uh, arrival. Oh, sorry, not the arrival, but the approach. And ILS two six left. There we go. I'm just gonna make sure speed is going up here. And then I'm gonna raise that descent rate a little bit, reduce that power a little bit more, give it some speed break to bring that speed back. It's definitely easier to maintain the, some speed right now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so here's that uh, 109.7 and 267. So, oh, we got some turbulence, 109.7. Uh, let's go ahead and set up the seed bell signs back to on. 109.7. Uh, 250, there we go. And then I gotta do 109.7. So look at that sequencing. They're like I'm way too second. far out Traffic for some reason. About 30 knots faster, you know. All right, guys. All right, so do you want me to speed up or uh, what? Let's bring the zoom in. <laughs> All right, we're doing 280 okay, we right now. Um, 16,000. Um, there we go. Um, now a driller, 13,000. So I'm going to go to altitude here, bring that down to 13,000 there. And assign the heading right there, and then uh, at trailer we gotta be at 250 knots. So we're gonna slow this aircraft down to 250, and bring it back to idle thrust, and give it some speed brakes here because we're coming inbound trailer very very shortly. What was that? Seven, oh my god. Okay, that's little tiny speed brakes of the CRJs four, coming out, four, helping four, the aircraft four, slow down. Four, Very effective four, though. They're tiny, four, but they are effective. Alright, there we go. So, driller is 13,000, patrol is 11,000. No restriction there as well. And for 2 6 left, that's where we're going, Zoe. So I got a Let's check the legs page here. And that's Zoe, and then we have radar vectors from there. Okay, this is looking fancy. Oh, we got a heist going on. Let's join Drew Stone. Oh, 
I'm joining in as well. And trying to maintain speed at the same time. Okay, we're on idle thrust. This is good. 13,000 or above. The next one is going to be uh, 11,000. So we bring that down to 11,000. There we go. And then increase the descent rate just a little bit and give it some some speed brakes here. Ooh, ooh, the aircraft's moving. And uh, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the sound music and get the seriousness going here. <laughs> Welcome to Real Hacks. Oh, uh, look, look at that rubber deflection because of the turbulence. Is that the air? Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Okay, rudder doesn't seem to be deflecting now. Okay. Oh yeah, it is. It is deflecting. If you look closely, and yeah, now it's not. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, speed is fine. Speed brakes going back. Okay, this is just the two of us, Drew. Who who else wants to join the heist? At 11,000, that's doing good. Patrol, uh, 8,000 on the next one. So I'm gonna go. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm reducing the speed. Actually, I was supposed to be at 210 knots there. So 240 here is fine. And then altitude going all the way down to 8,000. And let's continue that descent down. Uh, still on idle thrust Jet here. Flight and head city okay. I lost. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty, let's bring the landing rate predictions in. There we go. Roger. Uh, betting is on. If you have any questions, check the description. Everything is explained right there. And I am going to have to slow this thing down. Speed brake coming back in. Oh boy, autopilot. Bro, I think you iced up too. <laughs> Did you? Uh, let's pin this and let's get her down, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, look at that ortho. Oh my word. That's some real nice ortho, man. American 22, turn right, heading 180. Yeah. Maintain I like Texas. We're going to go to Texas We're more often. Uh, 8,000 is not coming up. I'm just going to give it a little bit more on that. And then we're going to have to go all the way down to 7,000 and 210 knots. So 240 knots right now. And let's bring this down to 7,000. Continue that descent. And then I'm going to go check for the V speeds here. Uh, American 22. Think that's what we're gonna fly. 133, and then we rough 137, 133. All right, so we'll do 133 here. Right, 180. Try to maintain 133. All right, making that turn in a second. Uh, we're just doing a little bit under under 240, so we'll go back there. Oh, Drew's putting in. Uh, Drew, are you? I think you can only put until hundred. Uh, I can raise that. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check real quick. Uh, settings, 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 settings. Uh, there we go. Uh, wait, where is my? Okay, I can't. I can't fix that right now. But you can only do a max off a hundred. Uh, let's bring the speed down. Driller 5 arrival, 1-5 right, uh, currently uh, heading towards the crossing 20,000. And the 10 knots, here Southwest we go. Southwest 1007, Houston approach, roger. And there we go, that's American looking 22, good. Right, heading we are leveling off, bring the speed brakes right, back, and give the power in. American 22, 
three miles from Kearns, fly heading 230, maintain 3000. Cruise for the King of Butter. Clear for the ILS 26 left approach. Clear for the ILS 26 left approach, uh, maintain 3000 code established. Six set jet 800, turn right heading 180, descend and maintain 3000. Right 180. 7,210 here at Zoe, and then make Southwest sure we got South our heading sorted. Heading, 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 there we go. For Southwest 1007, say again, 25, what's it? So I'm just going to move two, back five, to zero, heading. Six, Southwest oh, sorry, seven. hold on. 2506 for uh, 107. Perfect. Uh, reducing the power just a tad little bit to maintain 210. And I think I'm just going to slow this thing down to like say 200 here and reduce the power further. Cactus 949, fly present head. Cactus for the approach. Descend and maintain 4000. Present heading and descend and maintain 4000. Cactus 949. All right, let's go. Four thousand. There we go. Uh, we're gonna go vertical speed, and then I'll throttle all the way back to idle now. And I'm gonna give it some flaps here. I'm just gonna check Southwest here. Southwest one thousand seven. Continue descending via the drill five five arrival. Expect the ILS two six. There we go, that will help us get some drag in. There we go. Alright, we're looking good. Gucci here. American 22, looks like you're joining the final for 2-7. And nav source will be localizer 1. Where can I find that? Wait, what? American 22. Houston approach. Eric 21, Eric 22, sir. Uh, yeah, it looks like you're on final for 2 Nav source localizer. We, we haven't uh, engine localizer yet, Eric 22. American Blue 787, mic check. Mic five, mic, microphone is 5 and 5, same mic. American okay, yeah, that's the one. Side, 12 o'clock. I think that's yeah, the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, get the visual possible, Eric 22. Alright, ready to go, guys. Uh oh, we're gaining speed here. Set jet 800, turn right heading 230, turn to localize. Right 230, turn to localize, turn to set 800. Set X1155, turn to right heading 130. And we're going to go final burst speed of 133. I'll go from there. American 22, wind 170 at 6, runway 26 left, turn to land. 26 left, turn to land, American 22. Alright guys, make sure you have your landing rates in. All the instructions are in the description. Look at that ortho, man. Oh boy. That is nice. Except at 800, uh, 4 miles from currents, maintain 3,000 to establish, clear for the ILS, 26 left approach. Can't wait to see, like, X Plane 12 with ortho, man. That's gonna be complete game changer here. Um, no, I think I'm gonna need anti ice here. Yeah, let it say it. We're not gonna need it. Alright, let's bring that back. And we're gonna slow this thing down to, say, 190 here. And let's give it more flaps here. There we go, getting more drag. Uh, what happened to Watson here? And I got only three bets in, guys. Only three bets you're in. Make sure you have your landing rate predictions in. How do you like speed? Not yeah, I think it's so much more stable, AJ. I I I am enjoying it. It's 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 slightly less, or actually, I would say much less stressful for me now than it was before. <laughs> so yeah. Definitely, definitely better. Speed is so much better. Five, 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 five. Triple seven ninety seven. That's exactly what the master said not to do. Not to read it back. That is your full clearance. No need to read it back. Spec runway one five left. Just call me for taxi. Roger that. Static eleven fifty five. Heavy 
six miles in current. So we're at 4,000 now. Um, we're trying Southern to get to this runway. Uh, 4,000 is between Kearns and Greek. We're now. Okay, so that's looking good. Cactus 949, turn right heading 180. Turn right heading 180, the center maintain 3,000. Alright, 180, descend maintain 3,000, Cactus 949. Southwest 2442, descend and maintain 4,000. Right, 180, descend and maintain 3,000, and we are going to slow this aircraft down, vertical speed, and then let's say this, Re reduce the power here and do 1,000 feet per minute to get to 3,000. So we're getting a shorter final here. Uh, aircraft November speed 3, 3, 5, is uh, Papa, fairly Echo. good. I'm just going to bring the speed Bravo back down to, uh, one, say, 170 one here. And just going to, yeah, there. Uh, there we go. Speed brakes coming back on. And he might give us the localizer capture here. Uh, approach mode. Where's the approach mode? Uh, okay, there's the approach mode. Alright. Speed. Altitude. Leveling off here. Bring the power in. Danny's here. What's going on, Danny? It's pretty 15 on hard butter. Uh, 6 miles from current, turn right heading 230, maintain 3000 to establish clear for the ILS, 26 left approach. Alright, 230, maintain 3000 until established, clear at ILS, uh, 26 left approach, uh, Cactus 949. Alright, there we go, let's go approach. Uh, check the speed here, let's reduce the speed. Here we go, speed is going on, approach mode is armed. So let's hope uh, this works. Uh, yeah, 160, I'm gonna give it uh, more flaps here. And gonna go gear down here. Uh, uh, wait, 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 Write it down. Runway one five left. Taxi via Romeo Bravo. Yeah, I, I think I Bravo keep doing something with. that's wrong. I'm just gonna give it more thrust here. Yeah, I always I have trouble finding the localizer. Maybe I did something wrong, but he said maintain three thousand until established, which we are clearly not doing. Uh, I'm gonna go further to the left. Southwest 40, 2442, you are six miles from Jazz. Turn right heading 13, correction 100, zero, zero, maintain 2000 to establish localizer. Clear for the ILS uh, 13 right approach. So I'm gonna go try to get the ILS here. Southwest 1007, flight heading 085, vector city approach. I'm gonna go flaps uh, full here. We're supposed to go any lower than 7000 around that area. Alright, oh my god, 085 and vectors 4, just left. 4 southwest, 1007. Southwest uh, 1007, descend and maintain, maintain 4000. There we go. 4000, 4, 1007. All right, here we go. Localizer should be coming in in a second. We're still under the glide slope, so that's good. And... Citation 5 Papa Echo, runway 15 left, taxi via Whiskey Bravo. Whiskey. Still gonna fly there. 15 left via Whiskey Bravo. Whiskey, Whiskey, thank you, November. All right, here we go. Glide slope is coming in. Uh, what can I Trying to maintain that speed, localizer, we're just going to turn a little bit more to the left here. Uh, left to try able, and get that localizer, uh, and we got to start descending ramp up, uh, with, with the, the glide slope the now. Uh, 
you want the, the, the one in the by whiskey probably? Alright, there we go. Yeah, eight for that one. Alright, that joint there right there on uh, right there joint November Foxtrot, then November Alpha. Uh, there we go, I'm gonna start right turning. Uh, November Echo and then join Whiskey Bravo Street. Alright, November Foxtrot, November Alpha, November Echo, join Whiskey Bravo. Cactus time 49, wind 170 at 7, number 2, John 767, portion with turbulence, runway 26 left, clear to land. Clear to land 26 left, number 2, beyond the 767, uh, Cactus 949. Southwest 2442, wind 16. Alright, localizer. I'm gonna turn off the aircraft labels so I can see the runway more clearly. There we go, I have the runway inside, power coming down. And aircraft should pitch down there. We're now almost lined up. Uh, so 26. Wait, which one's. 26 left. I think that's 26 left. Yeah, we're good. That's 26 left. That's 26 right. That's like they're miles apart. Alright, we're looking good. Looking decent here. Reduce the power a little bit more. Still slightly high. At the airport inside. A little bit foggy there. Right, I'm just gonna turn the reshade off here. How many frames? 44. The aircraft is definitely much more stable on approach now. Just gonna go further left here. Okay, 128 is the speed, I see. Still a little bit high, reducing the power Better further. LXC 1155, welcome to Houston. Excuse me, welcome to Houston. That's uh, a very low approach Echo speed. There, left November Bravo, all the way to parking, cargo parking, east cargo. All right. Uh, uh, we got some winds November slightly Echo, from uh, the left, the ever so slightly. Uh, uh, I believe it's down there on Whiskey Bravo. There we uh, go. Is it? I'm not even sure. So go ahead, join the uh, Whiskey Bravo straight down to Whiskey Bravo to the parking lot. All right, Whiskey Bravo straight down to the parking lot. Thank you. 155. <laughs> Southwest 1007. Turn right, heading 180 to the center, maintain 3000. All right, reducing the power. 180, just center, maintain 3000 for 1007. The worsters are on. Fly Papa Echo on uh, left. Make a left onto Whiskey Hotel and then right Whiskey Alpha. And continue text. Uh, copy that, uh, November, the front pop echo, just the left one able, or the first taxiway ahead of me. Yeah, just the first one in there, right, whiskey off. There we go, this, this is such a nice approach. Uh, I just hope to do better on the landing as well. Power coming off. And power coming back in. No longer looking at, trying to look at the chat here. So we're exiting left. Southwest 2442, exit left there. The taxi parking via Charlie, cross runway 2. Uh, what's my name, oh, Charlie? Cross Whoa, 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 whoa. The plane's rocking, the plane's rocking. Plane's rocking. Southwest 1007, turn right heading 250, turn to local line. 250 in the localizer for 1007. Southwest 1007, two miles concurrent, maintain 3000. There we go! I will take that, ladies and gentlemen. You have just witnessed the Sim Aviators, Greasy Peasy Reversers. A little bit of a float, but I will take that. We got in more than enough of the runway. And here we go, manual braking, reverser stowed. 
Stop. Welcome uh, to, uh, to uh, Houston, break. ladies Go and gentlemen. Uh, the float for uh, sure, 12 seconds. Usually we try to be below 10 seconds, but this aircraft is like, yeah. The ground effect is crazy uh, because of the super low wings. But here we are. Let's clean up the flaps here. And land and hold short here. Two nine or zero to rejoin the ILS two six left for southwest. Ten or seven. Taxi stop forty nine. Your uh, Fox truck to parking. November Fox truck to parking. Cactus nine forty nine. Southwest ten oh seven. All right, there we go. Wait, do I have sound muted for what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me try to taxi out here first. Oh, we're gonna go all the way straight here, and then uh, we'll continue from there. November Foxtrot. Uh, let me check my Streamlabs. Uh, no, it's supposed to be on. It's supposed to be on. Hold on. Oh boy. Yeah, uh, one of the mods you can probably add add points United back to Danny for that uh, thing not working. John says float. Via Romeo Bravo whiskey. Yeah, I don't know why Bravo it did not work. <laughs> float for sure. We'll see the replay, but yeah, it's Romeo nice to get a butter <laughs> after a while now. Romeo Bravo. Right. Um, Chief says nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Drew. Thank you, AJ. Beautiful. The the aircraft, I would say, was definitely much easier on the approach. Now, the only thing I have to personally figure out is how to get this thing to capture the localizer. I, I'm, I think I'm not doing a step or something, and every time I end up missing the localizer, so... Uh, who knows? <laughs> but, alright, here we go. Now, those lights are on. There we go, strobe's going off. Uh, those lights remain on. And we are gonna go boop boop boo. And let's bring the music back on. I gotta pick the winner as well. Vacation, five Papa Echo. And then we'll jump into the replay, guys. That wasn't too bad at all. Alright, where, e, where are these guys? Are they on final? Yeah, this guy, yeah, that's a thing, Bobby. Bobby's on final. Oh, uh, where did Aviation Master go? I think Aviation Master is not here. Oh, there we go. He's landing here. Up, uh, let's go runway. park here there he's just a little bit outside we'll watch him land and then we'll jump straight into the replays after that there we go that's coming off Oh, he's here. He is almost here. There we go. Okay, and just a little bit to go. We can probably quickly park the aircraft here. We're gonna do a quick parking. Come on, come on. We gotta watch him land. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're still good to go with him. There we go. I will take that. Parking brake comes on. Uh, AP is available. There we go. Cut out the throttle there. And there, engines coming off. Uh, he's about to land quickly go turn the beacon lights off and There we go wing lights can come off as well, and now we can watch him land Okay, almost nice Let's watch it 
Looks like a fair approach. Okay, that's nose down, but that could be Ratson and X Pilot there. Okay, that's a flare coming in. Obviously, you can't see that. Once we have that in velocity, we'll be able to see it. But, oh, dude. Oh, dude, that was nice. That was nice. If, if what we saw was right, that was a great landing, man. Great landing. Relax, we always got replays, buddy. Nothing to worry about. I don't believe Aviation Master is here anymore. I think he might have had to go or something. So, what we'll do is jump into the replays here there we go he is probably exiting this one as well the same one we exited and uh, thank you so much for flying along john dc flies bobby and the aviation master thank you so so much kale studebaker says southwest 737 is that you wait hold on what was your call sign my man is here. Is that is that you, 1007, or is that Bobby? I believe it's Bobby. November Foxtrot. Actually, actually, that's Foxtrot. That's some velocity coming. Uh, we don't know. It's still in their testing, so there's no set uh, data for release yet, or you know, at least at least nothing so far. But uh, we'll, we'll hope it. I think it should be pretty soon now that the betas are, is, are on and then you know that's going to I think remember Watson what well, something with Watson related on when MSFS released and now Watson is probably gonna release Velocity when X Plane 12 comes out. Who knows? We'll we'll find out. We'll find out. That's is definitely a good idea. Alright so I'm gonna disconnect from Watson here guys. Thank you so so much once again for flying along. We're gonna jump straight into the replays and watch this aircraft come down, ladies and gentlemen. Watson's future, Flight Sim's future, everything is looking promising, man, man. I have to say that we we are we good days are coming for us. Good days are absolutely coming for us. But guys, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and the subscribe button. We are on the road to 1K now. All right, so here's what happened: cut the power out. Uh, flare did come in nice. Maybe could have been slightly later. And uh, center line probably not, but the nose wheel does probably come out, come down on the center line. But the initial touchdown was not. That was nice. Uh, I gotta submit my pyre up here. Uh, give me one second. Um, what did that say? It said 88 feet per minute. All right, that negative 88. I gotta pick the winner as well. Uh, file that pyre up here. Uh, let me pick the winner real quick. Uh, that was the butter. Finally, there we go. <laughs> butter was the winning answer. Greasy PZ, you just witnessed the sim aviator greasy PZ. But let's let's watch her come down right there. Let's see how that one went. Just oh yeah, that was yeah ah I will take that. Oh look at that. Oh boy. <laughs> oh man, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Where was the touchdown though? Let's see if there's any markings or anything. Hey wait, is this do I have an airport here at Houston? No, it does look like a default one, isn't it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what was I wanting to see here? Yeah, the point of touchdown. Okay, so we did a touchdown. Were we in the touchdown zone or did I miss the touchdown zone? Let's see. Oh, there's the there there goes the touchdown zone. <laughs> and are we down yet? I think we're down. Okay, there. Now the wheel starts rotating. So we're slightly outside the touchdown zone. <laughs> 
but we still had a lot of runway left and uh you know the crj stops pretty easily as well uh let's go to the window view see what you guys saw here on that landing absolutely man i have been loving these streams lately you know a lot of interaction from you guys you know a lot of you flying along hey aviation measure i did not catch you was that you southwest 1007 oh yeah that was that was nice that was a really good landing for the CRJ. It's the engine view and the reverses, of course. There we go. Oh yeah, definitely a float, but 12 seconds, not too bad. We just almost, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, just almost missed uh, the touchdown zone, but yeah, this it's it's hard to put this aircraft. The ground effect on this aircraft due to super low wings is like crazy, crazy, crazy. So that's always the case there. Uh, let's watch that coming in. Always a pleasure to fly the U.S. Airways livery. I think one of the most stylistic, stylistically amazing liveries we have there. Just a little bit of bounce, I believe, missed the center line, but I will take that. I will definitely, definitely take it. All right, let's run the music here. Here we go, onto the final view. Look at that. Don't often see CRJs on a flight. Some people are usually flying the Boeings and the Airbuses. But we're taking it. To another another one all right here we go Houston here we come definitely a floaty landing but people will on the inside they will appreciate that butter especially flight cementos yes if you're sitting inside there they'll definitely appreciate the butter but well, let's watch this one last time and we'll call it a day <laughs> we're like okay <laughs> Yeah, okay. I gotta figure this out. Like, I cut out the throttles exactly at 30. Maybe I should start start cutting it out 50. Who knows? But I will take that, guys. I will take that. And this is gonna be it for today's stream. Thank you so so much to all of you who hung out with us today. Um, Thursday we will be going if if all goes as per the plan. We will be going into Europe, back to Europe. I will be flying into short final designs uh, Munich Airport scenery. And we'll fly into there with probably the A340 from Jar Design. Yep, Jar Design. I said it. And so, yep, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so, so much to all you guys who stopped by. Thank you for all the new subscribers. And thank you for all the new likes. Uh, definitely a slightly shorter stream than our usual standards. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I hope you guys did as well. Until Thursday. Bye-bye. Take care. Stay safe, everyone. Some Aviator is signing out. Peace.